Good morning. Welcome to Eugene, Oregon. I'm Rick Dancer. This is Get Real with Rick Dancer. It's a beautiful day. Finally, the fog burned off today. Good God, there's nothing worse in the Willamette Valley than when the fog hangs on forever. And so we got a bright, cheery day, and we've got something really cool that a local business is doing to help evacuees in the McKinsey River what's called the Holiday Farm Fires. And we got a way for you to help. I've had a lot of you guys calling and saying, how do we help? How do we get involved? And there's a bunch of different efforts. But this is the gentleman at Subdermal Art Collective. There they are. And as you guys know, this is where I go. This is, these are my artists right here. That's Josh and Jake on the left and Josh on the right. And uh, did I say the wrong? Oh my God, I keep, I don't know why I do. It all starts with J. So, so get close together here. You guys work together all day, so you're probably COVID safe. Um, so tell people what you guys are doing. Uh, so we're um, starting to take donations to benefit uh, families that have been displaced by the holiday farm fire. Um, we're calling it a Pack the Gallery Christmas Benefit. All the donations, proceeds, everything will go directly to families that have been displaced by the holiday fire. So how did you guys find these families? Because you've picked like 21 people. You have like 21 different people. Yeah, I think we have about 25 kids, maybe a little bit more than that, registered already. And um, we just did a Facebook post and asked people or families that have been impacted to contact us and we would get them registered. So what ages and kind of how, what are you looking for that Um, way? So we've got as young as seven months old, I believe is the youngest that we have. And I think the oldest is either 20 or 21. Um, So yeah, basically... uh, I mean, any Christmas donations that we can get, um, we're trying to basically supply a good Christmas for the kids that have been impacted by it. So why? Why are you guys, why did this something you think you need to do? Um, I mean, it's local. It's our community. When, when, when you need help, you want to rely on your neighbor. And I feel like we want to give back, you know. So many of our clients and just the local community here has, has reached out to us and made what we're doing possible, you know, opening during COVID and taking the risks and seeing that we just you know we, we want to give it back a little you know and, and uh, i think this is a great way to do it you know we we're all affected by the fires but some of uh, some of these families um they they this is going to be a really hard christmas for them and and hopefully we can make it a little easier yeah there's people lots of people still living like 400 people and some of the folks not not living still in motels but a ton of them are still living in motels yeah. right here in the area and they're not going to get to go back home there's some families that have contacted us and i mean they didn't just lose their house they lost you know their motorhomes their cars they lost their businesses i mean their entire life has been upended you know um so i mean anything that we can do as a community to to help these families, I think, you know, is is gonna make a world of difference. So what kind of gifts, I mean, what are people looking for? Is this like, can they call you or what kind of what? Yeah, yeah, if you call us, um, the shop number is 541-654-5079, or you can reach out to us on Facebook. Um, But we wanna obviously supply new gifts, so um, you don't know hang me downs or or use products or anything like that. We wanna actually like give these kids a good Christmas and. And dates. So when do you need them by and what are you going to do? So we're gathering gifts and donations until the 19th. Um, and then on the 20th and the 21st, we'll have the families come and pick up the donations. Um, we're also going to offer uh, two half-day gift certificates. So it's a $500 value each. Um, we're going to auction those off on Facebook. And uh, the two highest bidders will basically take those prizes. And, and all of those proceeds will go towards buying more gifts for the families. So two people will get a half-day to get their their tattoos um, that they've always been dreaming. I think Christmas would be a great time. You know what I would do totally? Just because I'm obnoxious like that. That person you know in your life that's been talking and going, oh, I should get a tattoo. I should get a tattoo. Here's a great idea to get them and go, okay, here, put your money where your mouth is and I'm going to buy you a couple hundred dollars towards your tattoo and now you're stuck. Make it a gift certificate and make them come down and start put their money where their mouth is. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's a good way to give back and, and to get something in return. So, so the present, the gifts have to be here by what day and you're going to do what to deliver them? By the 19th at the latest and then uh, the families that are registered, we're actually going to schedule of time with them where they can come down and pick up gifts for their kids okay well thanks you guys for doing that yeah, um i heard you guys have like subdermal art collective t-shirts yeah, and sweatshirts shirts and sweaters let's and go, put on your mask yeah, yeah. so we can put on your mask and let's go in and i want to go look um hold on let me get mine on so you guys plus you got to see this shop if you've never been here this is not this is not like your normal tattoo shop but check this out okay so just ignore her. I don't know who she is, but she just she doesn't say a word. She's kind of dead. So here you go. 
Check this place out. It's a beautiful spot. You feel like you're being pampered when you're in here. Although you are getting stuck with a needle. <laughs> but check the, well, you can see there. Tom's got it right there. there. But look at this. So we got t-shirts. We got sweatshirts. And so how, what are you doing with that? How much are they? This just kind of a new thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is something that we just started doing. The shirts are twenty nine ninety nine, and uh, sweaters are fifty nine ninety nine. Um, we ordered some hats, but we had to send those back because they weren't done properly. So that's something that we're working on. Um, we're also going to have some Razorback tees for say, the girls coming pretty soon also. You artists are so particular. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be done right. All right. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Chris. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take off this way and say a few more words. Um, we'll see you guys later. All right, see you later. Okay, guys, so again, that is the Subdermal Art Collective in Eugene, uh, right down on High Street. And so they're looking for gifts for kids. Hello. Uh, seven months up to 20. And you can go on their Facebook page and find out more about what they're looking for. Um, and again, you have to get those in here by the 19th, I think we put up at the top there. Uh, so they've picked 21 families, uh, kind of answered the call and are 21 people and uh, so they're going to be doing gifts for them so if there's something you are out shopping and you're online shopping for something and you find something that might be appropriate uh, just bring it down here uh, fill the gallery and then they will deliver those to those families um, tonight we are going to have a show at 4 30 sponsored by any lab tests now we're going to be talking to some springfield businesses along main street city's talking about doing some series of roundabouts out there and these people are pretty darn concerned about it so we're going to find out what their concerns are and that'll be tonight at 4 30 and then tomorrow we're going to be at the tree mob christmas tree farm at 11 o'clock in harrisburg and then tomorrow night at 4 30 we're going to be doing a story with the folks at the Steamboat Inn. Those fires destroyed their septic system and the Buck Stops here is going to be sponsoring that story. We're gonna be talking with them live uh, about what they're doing uh, to try to raise money to fix those septic tank systems. So that's how you can help your community. I'm Rick Dancer. Do you like my new beard? It's kind of a mask thing. Um, I'll talk to you guys later on. Have a good day. Again, remember, Subdermal Art Collective. And if you're, get, if you're thinking about getting some work done, this is where all mine's done. This is where you gotta come. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.